the previous video, we made a connection between C# -sharp and an SQL Server database using Entity Framework. This video will be making a connection with the NoSQL database. We'll be using MongoDB. What is MongoDB? MongoDB is a NoSQL cross-platform document-oriented database. It is published as free and open-source software. MongoDB represents JSON documents in binary encoded format called BSON. A record in MongoDB is a document, which is a data structure composed of fields and value pairs. MongoDB documents are similar to JSON objects. MongoDB stores documents in collections. Collections are compared to tables in relational database and documents are compared to rows. With no predefined specific schema, as you can see here, documents do not need to have the same fields. For example, the first document contains the major field and the second document contains the minor field. Each document has as well a unique ID. The values of the fields may include other documents, arrays and arrays of documents. As you can see in this example, the following document that represents the person and this person is embedding another document, the address. So there's no need for joins because data is already explicitly linked. Data can be also related using references. As you can see in the right collection of documents, the value of author represents another document with its unique ID, 34237. Now let's go to our main purpose and connect to MongoDB from c -sharp. I've installed MongoDB locally and we can explore the databases using a MongoDB compass. We can see here the existing databases and we can explore the collections inside these databases. Let's go to Visual Studio now. I've created here a new console application. In order to use MongoDB, we need the MongoDB driver. Let's add the package to our console application project. In the package console manager, we write the following command. Install package mongodb.driver. Or we can add it from the Nugget package manager. In VS Code, it would be .NET add package mongodb.driver. Let's create two model classes with a relationship between each other. At first, let's create class student, for example. The class, the class student is public and has an ID, public string ID. This ID is decorated by the property BSON ID. And it is the representation of the object ID. In this way, it is a unique ID created by MongoDB automatically. Let's create another attribute, public string first name, and an attribute last name. And let's create the class major, for example. And in this way, each student has a major. The class major is public as well and has the same attribute ID with a BSON representation. BSON representation of the object ID bson type the object ID and the property is the ID so in this way as well it is a unique ID in MongoDB and we'll create the description for example
let's go to the program.cs and create a connection with a MongoDB database. At first, we'll create an object, MongoDB client. And in the parameters, we provide the connection string to the local MongoDB server, MongoDB. It's on the local host with the specified port. We'll retrieve all the existing databases on this MongoDB local server. So dblist equals db client dot list databases dot to list and we'll fetch this list db list dot for each for each item in the list let's write this item let's run the program We can see that there are three databases as displayed in the MongoDB compass. If we get now a database that doesn't exist, the MongoDB server will create it. For example, var mongodb equals db client dot get database. Let's call it db test. Let's get the collection of students. Mongo DB dot get collection of student and let's call it students. If it exists, it is fetched from the MongoDB. If it doesn't exist, it will be created when we insert a new record. Let's get the collection of majors as well. And let's call it majors. We'll insert a new major to the database. Major, for example, let's call it engineering major. New major with the description. We just specify the description as the ID is automatically created by the MongoDB. Let's create another major, the business major, for example, business new major, and we specify in the description that it's the business. Now we can insert the two objects in the database. Major majors dot insert one the engineering major and we insert majors dot insert one the business major. Let's run the program. And check in the database that the DB test database is created with the majors collection. We can see in the majors collection that two documents where added the engineering and the business. Let's go back and create a student and specify to this student a major and see how the relationship is made. Let's change our code in a way when specifying the major for the new student, it references the existing major in the database. So in the second time, 
we run the program. We do not need to insert a new record, engineering and business as they already exist. So we remove the new majors and go to the class student and specify that each student has a major, public, major, major, and it is a property. Now let's fetch the engineering major from the database engineering major equals majors dot find the major m that has the description equals engineering dot first or default now while creating a new student, student bill equals new student, we specify the first name equals bill, the last name equals gates, and the major is the engineering major that we fetched from the database. Now, while adding students.insert1, we'll add bill. Let's run the program. And see if The student's collection was created and the student bill was created with a major engineering that has the same ID of the major engineering in the major's collection that ends with 3054. Now, in order to update a student, we fetch it and update the last name, for example, to Clinton. So to fetch the student, that has the first name Bill, we use the find method in collections. So we remove the insert here and find Bill from the collections. X dot first name dot equals Bill. Bill dot first or default, and now we change bill dot last name equals Clinton. Now, in order to replace it, we use the replace one method in the collection student dot replace one, which one? the one that has the first name dot equals bill with the updated bill. Let's run the program. And see if Bill was updated to Clinton. Here it is, so it's updated now. Finally, we'll see now the delete operation in the MongoDB collection while deleting the business major. So majors dot delete one, which one? The one that has the description that equals to business. Let's run the program now and see if the business major was removed. Let's refresh here. So it is removed. 
So as a recap, in this video we succeeded to make a connection from c -sharp to a MongoDB database while demonstrating all the CRUD operations, the create, read, update and delete. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the upcoming videos.